Welcome to the APL quest. See APL wiki for details. Today's quest is the 10th and last of the 2016 round in the APL problem solving competition. We are given the bunch of prices and we are also given how many of each item that were bought and we are supposed to calculate the total um, amount that this purchase sums up to. So here we have the number of items that were bought and over here we have the prices for each one. And this is mathematically really, really simple. Um, we can multiply and APL will automatically vectorize. So five gets multiplied by 299, zero gets multiplied by 499 and two gets multiplied by 199. These are the total prices per item, type per type of item, and then we can uh, sum. Sum is a plus reduction, so we write a plus, and then the slash means insert, so to say, the plus in between the elements, and that gives us our total amount. So the problem can be solved this easily, but um, we could also try to make a single function out of this that solves the problem. So for that, we're going to use braces like this that makes an anonymous lambda. We could give it a name, but we can also just use it in line like this. And in this, the left argument is represented with an alpha and the right al argument is represented with an omega, the left and rightmost elements of the Greek alphabet. In here, we can then multiply together and that gives us exactly the same thing. This is basically a cover function for the multiplication. And then we can add the summation as well, and that gives us uh, this solution. But a neat thing you can do is called tacit programming or points-free programming, where you don't mention the arguments explicitly. So here we have left and right arguments mentioned by name. And we're actually able to combine these without mentioning the arguments, changing these braces into parentheses, this makes a single function, tacit function, which we call an atop or two train. There are two functions here, the summation and multiplication. And when you stick them next to each other like this in isolation, they are tied together by the parentheses here, then the right side function is given the arguments of the overall function. And its result is then fed on to the left side function. So this also works. This is called the two train or a top, a train because it's a sequence of functions after each other, a train of functions like a train of thought. But we can also be explicit about this at top. We have an operator, which is a higher order function uh, it's infix. It takes the sum on the left and takes the multiplication on the right and it combines them uh, com in a way that the right function is applied first with the arguments to the overall derived function and then the result is fed on to as a post processor the left function which is applied to just one argument so this also works but because we don't have a train anymore we don't need to show that these two carriages belong together instead it's the higher order function, the operator, that is binding them together, then we don't need parentheses here at all, and this would still work. However, there's another higher order function, or operator, um, in APL, which is called uh, dot, which does the dot product. And this is exactly equivalent to doing a dot product on two vectors. So this will also work. And then you might ask, well, what's the benefit of using this? Why can we not use sum over the multiplication? Well, there are a couple of reasons for that. One of them is technical and one of them is practical. Technical reason is that the interpreter instantly recognizes this combination the, um, and it has optimized code to do this. So instead of doing two loops, the multiplication first and then the summation, then it can fuse the loops and make it run faster. However, there's also a practical reason. 
something we couldn't do is let's say we um, instead of these amounts here we have two sets of purchases so the prices are the same in the store but customer one buys five of these and two of these and customer two buys 50 of the first and 20 of the last so that should give us uh, 10 times the price now we reshape this to um, two rows and three columns. This is Greek row for reshape. And this will give us a matrix. So we can see here, we have a matrix of um, two rows and three columns. And this, it's like a, a database with records per purchase. So the, in this purchase or this customer, um, bought these amounts and this purchase or customer bought these amounts. And now if we, um, if you then combine this, we need a parenthesis here so that we don't um, end up multiplying directly by this six element vector, which would be a length error. Um, now we can multiply like this and we can see that we got one sum per record in the database. And if we had only tried to multiply them directly, that would not work. We cannot multiply a two by three matrix with a three element vector and then sum it up afterwards. So that's why you really want to use the dot operator or also known as inner product whenever possible. Thank you for watching.